It's just body is a play of five elements. So is the world, so is the universe. Everything is a play of five elements. In these five, unless you want to explore mystical dimensions, you don't have to bother about the space. So there are only four. Among the four, seventy-two percent of your body is just water. Another twelve percent is earth, you know. Only twelve percent of your body is actually earth, largely it is water, so that's eighty-four percent. Another six percent is air. Air is the easiest thing to manage and take charge of because there is breath and you can take charge of it in a certain way. Another four percent is fire. Taking mastery over fire could do many things to you, but because you are householders living in family situation, you don't have to take charge of fire. You can keep it as it is, sometimes you can burn somebody a bit. You need it, right? You're married <laughs> Once in a way, if you don't burn them a bit, it may not work. Yes or no? The remaining six percent is space. You don't have to bother about that unless you want to explore mystical dimensions of the existence. To live well, four elements is enough. Fifth one is not relevant for people who just want to live well. It's very important because every substance, all the four elements have memory. Particularly earth and water have a very strong sense of memory. Today, modern science has explored this in a big way and they are proving to you that water has tremendous memory. Particularly about water, much research has happened. If I go to a new place, something sensitive, something important, if I go, I don't go and talk to the local guide. I'll just look for an unbroken rock, something that's not been touched and broken. I just go and sit. I know everything about the place because there is a phenomenal memory out there. So with water, and water behaves in a certain way depending upon what type of memory it carries. It's from this, people are going to consecrated spaces or temples and dying for a few drops of water because the water has the memory of the divine. They want that water to get into them, that's what tirth means. Tirth means water which has the memory of the divine. You want that water which has a good memory to go into you. So, always your grandmothers were aware of this. They told you if somebody gives you water, first you must look at their face, not what they're giving you. Somebody gives you something to eat, don't look at the food, look at the person. How are they giving it? They need not chemically poison this. Just with the emotion and thought, things can go bad. So this is no more a grandmother's story. This is scientifically proven now that this happens, that water has memory. You can either turn this weight or make it bitter with your rubbish. If you can cause sweetness and bitterness for the water which is in this tumbler, can't you do this to the water that is here? So if you just make the waters within your sweet, you will become seventy-two percent okay, okay? Another twelve percent of earth, if you do eighty-four percent, you're doing great. Air, if you maintain it, ninety percent you're doing great. Fire, if you want to purify, it's much more work. It's much… it takes much more to purify the fires in you. Fire is in different ways. We call this… <clears throat> there are various aspects of fire. There is reproductive fire. There is digestive fire, there is mental fire, there is heart fire and there is inner fire. There are five dimensions of fire. These five are difficult to work for ordinary people, it takes a lot of discipline. But the three can be worked at, the reproductive fire, the digestive fire and the mental fire can be worked at very easily. Very easily means with little effort one can do that. The other two will take much more to work with. 
If you just purify these fires, then you are no more an ordinary person. You are not just a healthy, happy person, you are much more. Because once you have mastery over the fire element in you, then you are touching the space. You are just one step away. Suddenly, you are not just an ordinary human being. You are not just happy and healthy human being. Something else is burning with you, which is not… Most people in the world will never know that. Or till now they have not. Our objective is everybody should know it. If you take… took charge of the fire in your groin, the fire in your belly and the fire in your mind, how many miraculous things you could do with this life? How much mastery you would have and how… how well you could live, how consciously and how much by choice you could live rather than be a slave of compulsiveness, isn't it? Yes? This is not about denying yourself this or that. This is just about everything happens by choice for you, not by compulsion. So, taking charge of the elements is the most fundamental form of yoga. And all yoga, whatever kind of yoga, everything is an offshoot of Buddha Shuddhi. Either it is, in tr it's, it is on the track or it's gotten distorted but everything is an offshoot of this.